small. It's like it has to be like, th like less than three inches like wide. All oh. right, let's get Hi, into Richter. this set. So there's gonna be Melly versus Dill, Richter, or just Belmont versus uh, Rob. 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 This is gonna be kind of a a semi difficult uh, matchup for both of them, you know? Because like, what is it? Richter's gonna put out like a bunch of hits and he's gonna just set up like an entire freaking obstacle course. Yeah. <laughs> and Rob's say. big ass is gonna have to try and get around them. And then Rob has to set up their own uh, <laughs> like obstacle course with gyro. Yeah, and lasers. exactly. And it's just like a whole lot of things going on. And then you have the platforms moving. It's, yeah. a, it's a lot of things going on that you don't need yourself. Yeah. But the biggest difference I think is that like when one is off stage, uh, like. Like, here we go. Rob is in a much better position, you know, in terms of, like, recovering and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, because of, like, the way he's able to fly really helps, like, mitigating, like, the way of edge guarding that uh, Belmont has and stuff like that. Yeah, the thing that Belmont's going to be wanting to do a lot is throwing out Holy Fire, throwing out the uh, yeah. the cross, the boomerang, and that axe as well. Which, that caused a lot of different patterns oh, going on. It's does, just really confusing. What's up? Does the axe bounce off the gyro? Does it come back? Because, like, you know, the axe comes back uh, when you shoot it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh, but we got a, a nice little roof combo there uh, by Melly taking the first stop. It's a raw up smash. Who doesn't kill oh. and not getting this the arm rotor off the stage off stage either. Still going for the gorilla side B. <laughs> just being like, I come back from stock. You not ready for this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then, you know. Honestly, like it, it's a it's a good thing you just put it out there, like you're really not gonna eat too much uh, or anything because you're you're riding that invincibility. Mm -hmm. And they're just not ready for it for the most part. But yeah, good stuff by Melly avoiding that. But now we got another we got an edge guard situation and yeah, the falling bear gonna even up these stocks. Yeah, finally, getting that gyro situation on the ledge. You kind of gave Melly a change of his own medicine with the situation that Dill put out for him. Uh, she had gyro ready, and she was going to catch you with a back air either on that second platform or right on the stage. And thankfully, she was able to catch her on the stage very easily. But Melly kind of doing what, what Richard does best, is wrecking a lot of percentage really quickly. And also being able to kind of outrange uh, Dill just a little bit um, with the whip, with the holy fire, or well, holy fire, hit holy water, and that ass. Act is humongous. Ooh, ooh, okay. Dill going for an immediate little like box on the mm -hmm. on the shield, and Melly just wasn't ready for it. Able to get a grab. Uh, Dill holding center. Oh, good. And yeah, now let's see. Uh, can she push uh, oh an advantage? Almost did. Had the right idea, but the positioning and just like yeah, it just didn't work out. Yeah, uh, Melly just just fell up, fell right through it, right to the back hit box. Did it get carried through? Man, you, you could tell Dill went for that Z drop uh, back air, but did it a little bit too close to the ground, and so the hitbox didn't come out. I don't know if it would have connected, but like yeah, that was at least you know the idea. And right now, these players treating their both their second stocks as if it were their last. I think it, you know it's a really important thing because like you know Belmont's a character that really, really wants to play from a lead, so uh, you know Dill is definitely giving him that respect. There, there is no no punish there. Absolutely no punish in that in that whole like situation. Maybe too much respect. No, too a little <laughs> too much. Oh, but Dill at 140, an errant hit will definitely no, take her out. Really even and, right now. Oh my God! Yeah, it was a difference of 0 0.8. Fantastic. But yeah, yeah, just there it is. Yeah, yeah. the falling up air from Belmont gonna send Rob off the top. Melly had just kind of made a situation that Dill had to follow a strict Ooh. path. Couldn't get hit by the holy uh, water Ooh. on the platform. Couldn't go down, and now Melly can't come up. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Dill uh, landed an edge guard by throwing the gyro uh, preemptively because when Melly went for. I guess forward air, it, like once it went into like tether form, he yeah. popped up for just like uh, like a second at the very beginning, and that knocked him right into the gyro, which put him in a in unrecoverable situation. Oh my god! This is what I be hearing that y'all don't hear sometimes. It's just, it's no, I'm, I'm screaming. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes I sometimes I'll be like, you know, <laughs> but. Like right now, this is yeah. like a game that is gonna make me scream. Whoever like wins, because I, I I've seen a lot of just Belmont finest okay. with the whip mechanic. Are we gonna go for a reset? Into a, yeah, uh, reads mm -hmm. the uh, the immediate mash out and goes for up tilt to catch it. 
Uh, Nelly not mashing fast enough to make it up before the up token X. Oh, oh, and catching the arm rotor. Finally. That's gonna be it. That soft spot, the, the soft hit of bear actually helped a lot. Cause how, I mean, didn't matter as long as the hit was really good. Had to hit the uh, full strong part of the hitbox. That you, you're dead. You're absolutely dead. Right. But the soft part forced Belmont into a uh, recovering situation, and yep. finally getting the, the long part of uh, the arm rotor. The sour spot of the back end, mm -hmm. running just one. far enough, and then yeah, and like just catching. Once you're in this, it, once you're in this scenario, like <sighs> what do you do? You gotta hang. You just gotta hang for as long as you can. The like the tether won't. Hmm. Yeah, there's really nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like. Even in this position, even with the gyro, uh, the arm rotor like over here, like you're just gonna move up like right into it. Like your body is big enough where it's not gonna matter, you know. So it's just like, could he, he have hung longer? I think so. I because, think he just instantly came back up. So I guess one question I have, when it's, uh, I, uh, I guess one question I have is, yeah. So go back. Yeah, see this, like, do you see how far down he is, mm -hmm. right? I'm pretty sure if he hung that way, like, with if we look at how long, with that in mind, right? If we look how, how once Rob's gyro, oh, once uh, the arm rotor stopped spinning, boop, boop. It stops right there. Yeah, so, like, it's, yeah. You so don't have too much, you don't have, it was like, over that here much and down here. So, yeah. like, definitely could have waited it out. Anyway, uh, Dill's bands were FD and PS2. Very understandable. Uh, like and yeah. yeah, and Dark Falcon Melly's uh, counter pick going to be Hollow Bastion. Uh, you know, Hollow Bastion literally one to one identical to FD plus a platform. Plus a platform. Yeah. This is really funny. Yeah. That was that was that was funny. That gyro literally just was just there, and Melly just jumped right into it. Yeah, that middle platform is going really to be really useful for Dill. I've said it many times before, regards to that, that platform specifically, that layout on that platform specifically, between like this and uh, Smash Bros. Yeah. That she could definitely just like juggle you so easily from that middle platform. But you know what? Now they're going to be taking that taking first that, stop. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, something that the platform usually does is that it provides you uh, a level of mix-up on mm -hmm. like how you're going to come down, and you can't come down with an aerial and then pass through the platform. So like that stuff like that, you know, makes it a, a safe haven. And when you're just trying to come back against, uh, you know, big trap character like Belmont, you're, you're going to want some extra variety to mix up with. But yeah, uh, so Dill only taking 20% right now. Uh, she's got him. She's got to, you know, even up these stocks sooner than later. Melly trying to build on as much of a lead as possible. Uh, but, yeah, they're taking it extremely slow. I don't know who that back air was for, fighting <laughs> the ghosts <laughs> and her internal <laughs> demons. Um, I don't know, that back air was for somebody, but definitely wasn't for Melly. Like, yeah, yeah, like you were saying, Melly's definitely taking out a lot of extra credit for themselves just in the event that they do lose the stock uh, predictably. Yeah. They have so much percentage to work off of uh, with a new stock. So... And, and yeah, this is what we're talking about where, like, you know, Belmont really wants to play with a lead, you know? Like, able to, to go with the, the win condition? Oh, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, might as well. You can't come back. Really good uh, awareness and execution by Dill with the gyro. So, basically, what happens is, like, multi hits like that, uh, if they don't just straight up delete the gyro, right? Then, because if the gyro is fresh, uh, it might tank a little bit, and then, like, you multi hit it into yourself, and then you just take a hit and it sends you in the direction that Rob was facing when he disconnected from it. So, like, this happens a billion times to me as Squirtle, which is why I know about it. But yeah, oh my god, and Nelly I'll with the uh, the 2v1 combo teaming I can't, up. I, I can't believe that the, uh, they uh, they told me this. I think it was Wildcard uh, who told me that whenever they throw the, the little cross boomerang, it comes, they throw it backwards so it comes back, like, Longer and it has a really good setup for the other side yeah. of the stage. Yeah, you, it's a it's pretty comparable mm -hmm. to like Toon Link's Boomerang, you know, where yeah, like you want it as a follow up tool. Uh, also, like it doesn't bounce back when it's on the return. See, just like that, right? Mm -hmm. Don't hit it and then like it immediately bounces back. Also, that answers my question from earlier. It went yeah. right past the gyro. 
Uh, so it doesn't matter that it hits the gyro's hurt uh, hit hurt box. But uh, yeah, so like when it's coming back, it's just gonna go the entire length. So you're just being like, oh, yep, I, I have it in charge. Yeah, Melee. Uh, Doing really well. Yeah, uh, usually in right now. Yeah, see, oh, there, threw yeah, it out it came back. and just waited for it to come back. You know, you gotta be aware of those things. It's very similar to just like throwing gyro up in the air, waiting for it to come back down at like the really good moment when they're not expecting yeah. it. Yeah, just like that. Very similar. Not nearly uh, as as uh, as good uh, as the the cross, but yeah. Man, Dill has her work cut out for her because you gotta take out this stock and the next and the next while being at 140. Uh, we might be looking at a game three. In fact, I was especially we are. I was at, I was uh, expecting a uh, an up air right there or up tilt, but it just goes straight for the the, the axe. Okay, both taking a swig of water, yeah. humongous swig. Hydrate of water. or dehydrate, folks. Yeah. So Melee gonna be getting rid of Kalos, and we'll we'll be looking on our sides what it is. Yeah. But let's see how this stock ends. Kalos mm. and F uh S V uh Smashville. <laughs> Yeah, and there goes the axe. Gonna take out Dill's final stock there. Uh, so now it is 1-1. We're in a game three situation. Yeah, let's see. So yeah, Melly ended up taking the first stock. And yeah, so Dill's kind of like always like trying to play catch up to equalize. Well, actually not so much because after that, you know, it's, it's relatively even in this situation. Melly, well. Take your time. There, it's just so much nuance. No, that yeah, that 2v1 combo really, like, fantastic execution by Melee there. Really just helped them, like, just keep the lead. And then Dill is just like, <sighs> you know. All right, so the counter pick is going to be Battlefield. Battlefield. Okay. The, uh, I can see it's going either way. Oh, oh yeah. Either one of them. Because, like, this stage, I, it, they both have, they both played a very, a very, a, like, a... Uh, like uh, set up, set up very uh, set up heavy playstyle, and there's so many things you can do with three platforms to your advantage, and both of them like to be in the air a lot. So lots of setups can really happen here, but for either either character. Yeah. So. <sighs> hmm. mm. You know. Okay. So you know, Rob, heavy character, battlefield, super huge blast zones. Uh, Belmont has like some. Strings? Not really, but like some, you know, maybe getting like a setup or being able to like fish higher up with the up airs by getting extra height. Um, the way Rob kills, you know, the battlefield blast zone might not matter. Uh, although I do think those two up airs would have killed on other stages. Yeah. Regardless, he fatty laser. Back. Yeah. He actually wasn't dead. He air dodged into the blast zone because he knew who, he, yeah. he can't come back from he that. Accepted his fate. Yeah. He was like, no. Nah. I, a, I love the, the quickness. We are efficient here. Yeah. I, honestly, it's a good thing to do versus Rob because Rob is going to be charging gyro, and like any time you delay, Rob just gets laser faster. You know, laser is just passively always charging. So like, if you are just stalling, oh well, there's more fatty lasers waiting for you. Yeah, you know, you, you don't want that big laser. Absolutely not. Yeah. So oh, okay. I was about to say, Dill working on this like. Extra large lead, but gets hit by the. Uh, Sorry, I can't, I, can't, I can't take extra large seriously anymore. Yeah, working on that uh, on that lead, but now uh, Melly able to even it up with the the like the like a very weird hit of the axe. Still, just kind of fell into it. It was already past her. <laughs> Regardless, I, I think Dilg actually getting a little bit frazzled by that out of gas. Oh no! Oh, fast fell at the last moment and then tried to up air, uh, uh air dodge, dodge. upward. I have never seen it. Rob lose Ooh. gas before. That's incredible. Still going gorilla for a moment. Tries to even it out. Let's see. Ooh, goes for forward air instead of the arm rotor again. Ooh, this isn't looking good for Dill. Oh yeah, this is not looking good at all. M Melly's really good at, at, at these like leads whenever they do get it. Because, uh, you know, Belmont with lead, that's what they want. They want some kind of advantage. Because having to deal with, uh, with a disadvantage is just, just, just not fun, okay? It's just not. Um, and okay. having Rob with any kind of advantage is also just like not the plan. So, still trying to uh, work <gasps> extra hard to <gasps> time these dares a little bit too early. And Dill's doing, Dill was doing a really solid job of like really minimizing taking any damage. 
uh, and just like trying to get this stock gone. Two hundred percent. Man, are we playing brawl? What's Belmont doing here in brawl? That's crazy. Oh my god, I I can't watch. Maximum I can't. rage, and he's just like he's just chilling, just throwing all of these obstacle courses out in front of Dill, and not even fair coming, bro. Hello. Okay, Gyro, the little tether. Oh man. I think he misaimed it. Yeah, Dill looking for the grab to try and just get the up throw with a will kill no matter what. Lily, most 70%. moves besides like falling there oh. is gonna kill. I think Dill might be playing a little bit too aggressively. I know she definitely has to because she wants you gotta. to. But and uh, like Melly is doing exactly what he needs to do. You know, just keeping the defenses up, not fishing for any kills, just saying like, hey, it'll come. It uh, will come eventually. I, like I'm in the advantage state, I'm going to keep the advantage state. And then until it's mine. Tiny little pop off there by uh, Melly. A little pop off, a little fist bump. Oh. Not fist bump. Like, uh, that fist one. pump, not fist, fist pump. bump. That's the one. No, Dill had a, a, the right idea uh, in the beginning of her last dog, and Melly was just avoiding everything and taking minimal damage, or at the very least, not getting uh, hit by any of the stronger moves that Dill was putting out. Mm -hmm. Just allowing to get hit by, you know, falling Nair, fine, that's calm. Uh, like, laser, fine, that's calm. But making sure to avoid any uh, forward air, any, like, throws or grabs, super, super good. Wow, that, that's All evil. Right. That poor driver had, had no chance of coming in. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. All right. So yeah, we're going to take a really quick break because I yep. would like to eat my dumplings. Yes. All right, so have a good one and see you guys in a bit.